Welcome to BARD's Breathe Easy Service Training. My name is Rick Downey and today we're going to be taking a closer look at wall mount ERV installation and setup. The energy recovery ventilator should only be installed by a trained heating and air conditioning technician. This video and the instruction manual serve as a guide to the technician installing the ventilator package. They are not intended as a step-by-step -step procedure with which the mechanically inclined owner can install the package. For safety, please follow all personal protective equipment and safe work guidelines. Warning, shut down the power to the unit before installing the vent package. Failure to do so could lead to injury or death. Warning, wear cut-proof gloves when handling sheet metal. What comes in the box? Well, when we're unpacking this, we have a cassette assembly. There's an exhaust blower and an exhaust blower mounting plate. In the center, that's the upper blower assembly. Beneath that is the right and left side covers, and those side covers are going to replace existing blank off plates on the unit. And there on the right is the cassette center support. This is a bug screen that's going to cover the intake air. There's a parts bag, and that has a registration for warranty in it, uh, adhesive backed wiring diagram that needs to be put in the electrical compartment and some screws, wire ties. In the upper right, there's a rear ERV rail. In the center, we're looking at some electrical components. There's two harnesses there for the cassette deck. There's two motors on that deck. And the blue and red and white harness on the bottom is for the exhaust fan. On the far right, that's the front mounting rail for the cassette deck. Note that the 460 volt model will have additional components that are voltage related. There's a transformer and circuit breaker shown in this picture. There are instructions for all voltages and a wiring diagram included in the manual. Let's install an ERV. First thing we need to do is remove some panels. We need to remove panels from the two sides and two front lower panels plus the inner cover to the control panel. Next, we're gonna remove the blank off covers from both sides, only one side is shown to speed this video up, but to gain access to the ventilation cabinet, we have to open up all four sides. If the unit is already mounted, you can work from either of the two sides to gain access and remove that rear blank off plate. Here we're removing the exhaust blank off plate. Remove the condenser and exhaust partitions using the next steps. We can access the condenser compartment to remove screws from the exhaust partition. Here's the other side, and you can see that green arrow, there's a screw there that has to come out. Then we need to remove screws from the condenser partition insert. And next we can separate the condenser partition from the exhaust partition and then remove the exhaust partition through the unit side opening. It comes apart hard and be careful not to scrape your arm on that sheet metal. Next, remove the condenser partition. 
Now the unit's ready to accept the ERV installation. The ventilation cavity is empty. First thing we're going to do is install the exhaust blower base with the screws provided. Be sure that you save all the screws from the sheet metal that you remove because they're all going to get used before we get done. When we install the exhaust blower, we need to make sure and keep the electrical on the end as shown. That's going to put the exhaust throat of the blowers in the right position and the electrical connection is going to be in the right position. Next, we're going to install the front cassette mounting rail. The next item up is the center cassette support rail. This has a guide on it that's going to help you slide the cassette right in. Install the female receptacle into the cassette support rail. Then plug the motor harness into that receptacle. Notice that it's a red, white, blue, and black harness. Route the wires in front of the cassette support rail and secure them to the bundle at the end of the ventilation cabinet. There are three harnesses included in this kit. Be sure you use the correct harness for the exhaust blower. Use the furnished push mount ties to secure wires to the center rail as shown with the arrow. Now let's install the ERB control board. Connect the black, blue, and red wires to the same color coming from the exhaust motor harness. After connecting, place them in the wire trough. The white wire continues through the trough and connects to the common terminal block on the ventilation control board. Now we need to install the rear cassette mounting rail. Be sure to line the center track up with the rail. If the cassette deck is started on the center track, it will easily slide into place. Here's a close-up of that center track on top of that center rail support. The top or intake blower slides in easy if the top and bottom rail are aligned with the track. Install the four wire female connector and attach the white common wire to the terminal block on the ERB control board. Connect the nail plug for the upper blower assembly and make sure those wires don't rest on the wheel. Route the power supply wires from the vent control to L1 and L2 of the compressor contact. 
Install both wire harnesses from the cassette deck to the vent control board and attach both ground wires to the frame with screws provided. Important, route both harnesses separately to avoid crossing the wires from the two motor circuits. When the first harness is complete and connected, install the second harness. When all the wires are in place, replace the trough covers. Once the covers are in place, the wiring is complete. Use the wire ties provided to bundle and secure loose wires, and caution, do not allow wires to rub on any moving parts. Next, adjust the eyebrow wiper to keep the wheels clean and provide a seal between the intake and exhaust pass. Loosen the screw on the wiper edge and lower the wiper to just touch the wheels plus push down 1 8 inch. Too much pressure on the media wheels will overload the motor. Install the new left and right two-piece side covers. And you can notice here that just by removing the bottom cover, you can slide the cassette deck out for service and cleaning. Reinstall the exterior grills on both ends, remove the backing from the wiring diagram, sticker and place on the inner control panel door. To finalize this installation, you need to install the two foam strips provided on each side of the fresh air intake as shown at the left and insert the bug screen before replacing the front grill. On the bottom of the opening where the bug screen is inserted, there are two tabs there to bend up, and that will hold the bottom of the screen in place. The top already has a bracket there on every unit that that top is going to rest on. So all you have left after this is to start it up and check it out. There are more training videos available at BardHVAC.com. This is the lower right corner of our homepage, and you can see it says Video Library. If you click on that link, it will open up to all the videos that we have available. If you need additional technical help, here is Bard Tech Services Line, 1-419-636-0439, and they're open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. For training questions or more information about this product, you can email me, rick.downey, at bardhvac.com. Thanks for joining me for this video, and thanks for choosing Bard.